our, our fans, our state, every, just have unrivaled passion for LSU. We just respect the past and embrace the future. Excited to have you back, Tiger fans, for another edition of Inside LSU Basketball, presented by Community Coffee. Once again on this week's show, we'll catch up with both head coaches, Will Wade and Kim Mulkey. Look back to that exciting road win for LSU women's basketball over Mississippi State up in Starkville. And later, we'll hear from members of LSU basketball on the importance of celebrating Black History Month. All of that and much more coming up on Inside LSU Basketball. Inside LSU Basketball, presented by Community Coffee, is brought to you each week by the eight partners that represent Team LSU. Cox, the official communications provider of LSU Athletics. McDonald's, official sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Our Lady of the Lake, official health care provider of LSU Athletics. Planet Fitness, official gym partner of the LSU Tigers. Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of LSU Athletics. Hancock Whitney, the official bank of the LSU Tigers. People's Health, the official health plan of LSU Athletics. And by Coca-Cola, official beverage partner of the LSU Tigers. This segment of Inside LSU Basketball brought to you each week by Bud Light. At the free throw line, takes the rebound for LSU. No look pass, right side. And Brandon Murray with the lay in and the Tigers strike first. Eason, short corner right side. Spins to his right, drives, Etter, puts the shot up, won't go, but follows with his own left hand in left handed tap. It's Ballman, now it is stolen by Pinson, who spins, throws ahead to Gaines, and he'll slam it down from the right side. 7 6 Georgia leads. Eason tries a three. He does, buries it. Tigers on top, 9 7. Swing it around to Murray. Three left of the arc is good. And the rebound tapped around like a volleyball. Ballman had it, had it stripped loose underneath. Coming up with it is Eason. Eason took it away, lays it up and in. Darius Day skies for the offensive rebound. Spins in the lane. Jump hook. Yes, sir. Pinson hesitates, drops it across the lane, down on the right side. And Alex Fudge does the rest, slams it down. He's been on a tear here of late, working against the Quindo, goes into the lane, shot with a finger roll is good. Here's the trap at the timeline, tries to step through it, ball taken away by Pinson. Pinson, no look pass, Eason, oh, Tomahawk jam, and it's 33-20, timeout Georgia. Wanting to work, stutter step, now goes in left side, puts up the shot from the left side with the right hand, and draws the foul. Pinson off the screen, comes to the free throw line, back out to Murray. He'll rise with the three, and he'll answer at the other end. Down to Bridges, Wilkinson jumps in the what passing pass. lane. Bounce pass ahead from Pinson to Days. He'll bend the rim, and the Tigers make it 47-29. Right sideline, stops, throws it away. Pinson in the backcourt has the steal, goes up, easy lay-in. That'll make it 49-29. Days, quick feed to Eason on the left block. Smooth, turns, puts it off the glass. Nice feed inside from Pinson. The slashing O'Neal coming to the basket, lays it up with the left hand. Hurry, front court, down the lane, goes up, finger roll layup, count it, and a foul. Stops midway up the block, now spins, goes under the defender, passes out Wilkinson, three ball, go! Corner three from Wilkinson, that's where he loves it. Freshman right, drives. Pass out to Murray, step back, deep three, right wing, around and down. LSU makes it 62-36. Standard dribble for Xavier, whips around the pass. Three ball from Days, bullseye! Quindo now in double figures, he's got 13. Gaines with a three, nobody picked him up, top of the key. One-on-one -on -one against Ballman, Euro step, goes up left hand, won't go, but a finish and a dunk by Efton Reed on the follow. Edge to Williams, Williams to the SEC logo. The floater from 12 is good. Ball fake, drives down the right lane, and Eason slams it in to the seats. Picked up by Eason. Eason the other way, goes up, finger roll layup, good. Here's Gaines, drives down the baseline. Nobody picks him up, he'll lay it up and in. Back again, fans, on this week's show, and Coach, uh, big win at home. Now it's three wins in a row. I know that sounds a lot better than, say, a month ago. You take on the Georgia Bulldogs, good atmosphere inside the Maravit Center. There were a couple of things you said the Tigers could take advantage of if they went and executed. Looked like they were able to do so. 
Yeah, it's good to be on a little bit of a streak. It was nice to have a couple home games uh, in a row. It's always good to kind of get your footing back back under you uh, at home. And so I thought we did some good things in the Georgia game. Um, mainly, you know, we didn't turn the ball over as much, particularly in the first half. We were really able to ratchet up our pressure, get into our pressure. We ended up trapping a little bit more than we normally do. We trapped over half court. We really kept the aggression on. We're kind of a, we're usually a one trap in the back court and then let you bring it in the front court and really see what happens type team. But we really wanted to uh, escalate the pressure as we crossed half court. And I thought we, I thought that really paid dividends for us. So offensively, we scored over 80, I think, for the first time in SEC play. So that was a minor miracle. Um, so that was, uh, that was certainly, uh, Certainly a positive. We had pretty good ball movement. We turned the ball over a little bit too much at the end. But we did a great job just mashing them in the paint, finishing at the rim, um, and, and did a really nice job just, just, just killing them in points in the paint, which is that's how our team's built. We're going to have to just get to the rim, attack the rim, and really, really finish strong at the rim. And we're starting to do that better. The trends are showing that our rim shots are, are going up and our, and our finishing percentage is going up. So we've put a lot of time into that. We've put a lot of work into that. And I thought that was a positive. And the last positive was our defensive rebounding. We held them to about 20, they got about 22, 23 percent of their misses. That was huge. That was huge. We've been giving up mid 30s to low 40s in, in misses. And so to be able to do that, um, you know, was, was a big step forward. And, and hopefully that'll be a trend that can continue with us for the rest of the season. I know real quick after that game, you mentioned, hey, the, the normal cast delivering for you, Tari Eason, Xavier Pinson has 10 assists, Darius Days getting the work done along with Brandon Murray. You said at the end of the game, we got some younger guys who at this point of the season, we're looking for them to take that next step forward. Yeah, we need, we need more out of some of these guys. We put them in at the end and, and we need them to be, you know, we need them to, to give us some more. And, and they've done it in spurts. Um, they've done it, uh, you know, just not as consistently as we need it. And so that's what we're really searching for, some consistency, finding that eighth, ninth guy that we can consistently, that's, you know, depend on. Somebody that's, I tell our guys all the time, the two best qualities anybody can say about you is you're reliable and you're dependable. And so we're looking for some <laughs> reliable and dependable guys, particularly in that, that eighth and ninth spot. Those top seven, you know, we pretty much know what we're getting and, and the rotations and everything work really, really well, but we need that need that eighth and ninth spot to really step up and, and have some reliability and some dependability. You Just like able, you, Chris. You were able to impose your will uh, at home against Georgia on Wednesday. You, you knew you had to carry that over into Columbia because that's what South Carolina does, especially on the defensive end. Yeah, they're just so physical. Um, you know, they're, they're such a difficult team for us to prepare for and for us to play just because of how physical they are. They've got physical guards. They've got a ton of big guys who just, they can roll big guy after big guy after big guy in there and just absolutely mash you uh, with, with, with different guys. And so, you know, being able to, to get the defensive rebounding a little bit better against Georgia, you know, you didn't exactly know how that was going to carry over uh, to South Carolina. And I thought it was just okay. And so, you know, that's something that's going to continue to be a concern for us for the rest of the year. But it's a typical South Carolina team, a typical, very, very uh, challenging game uh, down in Columbia, like they always are when you play one of Frank Martin's teams. Well, no doubt about it. Well, best of luck next week, Coach. Always good to visit with you. Thanks, Chris. All right, fans, stay with us. More coming up on Inside LSU Basketball right after this. You need more layers, diagonal layers. I got it, Ron. Thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you peach the Bud Light lemonade? Need more ice. And diagonal layers. I mean, if you're going to do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a plum ski method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? Got to crush the ice, son. OK. I'm out. What's his problem? Wait, Whenever packing the cooler really, really, really matters, there's a Bud Light there. Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. We get it. It feels like everything has changed. Masking up, changing demands at work, fewer gatherings. 
But one thing hasn't changed, our commitment to your health. It's why Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group keeps finding better ways to serve you. Video visits with one of our providers, online scheduling, weekend hours, and nearly 100 locations where providers know your medical history. Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group, providing you with the best care where and when you need it. As humankind faces its most critical challenges yet, the world demands leaders, and LSU is taking up the charge. The research we do here goes everywhere to protect communities threatened by climate change so you can live your life with fewer worries about tomorrow. We're formulating a better way for everyone because at LSU, our calling is humanity. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Basketball brought to you each week by Our Lady of the Lake Children's Health, one of Louisiana's largest pediatric health care networks. Live from Humphrey Coliseum in Starkville, Mississippi, a matchup between your fighting Tigers of LSU and the Bulldogs from Mississippi State University. Payne, left side, dribbles in, seven footer off the window and in. Payne dribbles in, 12-footer, good again by Payne. Get it to Newby, 17-footer, Newby straight away is good. Cherry from the deep right corner, it's a long two, and LSU's up four. From the right corner, in a little bit of trouble, she'll go baseline, reverse layup, Morris is good! Horn sounds, ball game is over. The final score here in Starkville is LSU 71 and Mississippi State 59. In those timeouts, there's moments where I will look at them and say, what do you want to run? Own this. What do you feel out there? What's going on out there? This is just my philosophy is that they're going to listen to me, and 90% of what I say and do, they're going to do. But sometimes in tight games, you have to trust them to think the game. And uh, Alexis did. Uh, she said, Coach, I want to run red hot. That means nothing to y'all, but it's a 1-4 flat. And she said, I want to take my guy off the, off the dribble. Bam, it was a tie ball game, and she did. So guess what we ran again? Red hot again. That's good. KP has done that. Make them own it sometimes. And certainly when they're successful, it energizes them and the team. And I thought going to the smaller lineup in the fourth quarter was uh, beneficial. When LSU going to run it, pointer, left sideline on the wing, dumps it down low, and a layup is good, left-handed by Newby, and LSU's on the board first. Pointer down to Newby on the right block, back out to pointer, three is good. Pointer with five straight for LSU. Mississippi State has a player down, so it's five on four. Left wing to Morris, wide open three. It's no good. Newby the rebound, easy layup is good. Left wing pointer, open three again, and it's good. Pointer, two of three from deep, has eight points. And LSU's up 12 to 10. Taylor will lob it, and Newby stolen back as she tried to go across court. Payne into the front court, gets it left wing to Morris. A three left wing is good by Morris. She was all by herself down there. Cherry right side finds Trossi. Free throw line jumper is good. Awa Trossi off the bench with the bucket. LSU's up seven. And here comes State two on one. Jordan a dish, but she charged after the dish. Pointer did a great job to jump in and take that charge. Left wing to Cherry. Drives left baseline to the hole. She scooped it up over the rim and in. 30 to 26, LSU by four. Need a bucket here. They were up 11 a little while ago. Payne, left side, dribbles in. Seven footer off the window and in. See if LSU can rebuild the lead a little bit. Cherry will get a screen, 17 footer, yes. Use the Afua screen to her advantage and the lead is five. Cherry's got six. Pointer, right wing, looks for the newbie screen and has it. Pointers into the lane. She stops, has to kick it up top to Cherry. 16 footer, good. Big bucket by Cherry to get LSU back up by three. 
Payne with 5.50 to go, spins, turns, 12-footer, good by Payne to tie the game. Morris around a newbie screen, she's gonna drive to the bucket, layup is good, it counts, and a foul. Very nicely done out of the timeout, Morris has got 10, and she'll shoot to give LSU the lead again. 13 to shoot, right corner to Payne, lobs it to Newby, right baseline, fires it to Afu, a layup is good. Well, nice pass, post to post. Morris looking for a screen, she's got it. She's driving free throw line, running one-hander, good from the free throw line, Morris. And Kim Mulkey wants a timeout, that was a game tire right there. They put four on the baseline, they're gonna let Morris go one-on-one. She gets up ahead of steam, down the lane, running one-hander, bounces and it goes in, and LSU's got the lead. Two big baskets. And let's see if Morris takes her man, eight to shoot. She will get a screen, she's in the right corner in a little bit of trouble, she'll go baseline, reverse layup, Morris is good! Nobody got her down the baseline and she took it in, she has scored six in a row. She is six for six, and it's 70 to 59. Second one is good, it's 71 to 59. 4.8 4.8 seconds to go, and uh, Taylor will bring it slowly into the front court. I think, nope, she's not even going to shoot it. Horn sounds, ball game is over, and LSU wins in Starkville for the first time in seven years. Stay tuned for more Inside LSU Basketball after the break. It's Ford Truck Month. Get after it in Ford F-150. With the best available towing in its class, an available tailgate work surface to get the party started, and available pro power on board to keep it going strong. Get our best offers on Ford F-150. Get to Ford Truck Month. Get zero for 66 and 500 bonus cash, plus an additional 2,000 retail order bonus cash on Ford F-150. Only at your Southern Quality Ford dealer. Now is the time for new beginnings for holding each other's hands, for encouraging each other, and for working together. At Women's, our mission is to improve the health of all women and infants. So today, we're focused on new ways to care for you and keep you safe. Because seeing you healthy and strong is important to us. You need more layers, diagonal layers. I gotta run, thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you peach out the Bud Light lemonades? Need more ice. And diagonal layers. I mean, if you're gonna do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a plum ski method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? You gotta crush the ice, son. Okay, I'm out. What's his problem? Wait, Whenever packing the cooler really, really, really matters, there's a Bud Light there. As humankind faces its most critical challenges yet, the world demands leaders, and LSU is taking up the charge. The research we do here goes everywhere to protect communities threatened by climate change so you can live your life with fewer worries about tomorrow. We're formulating a better way for everyone because at LSU, our calling is humanity. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Basketball is brought to you each week by lsushop.net. For the latest in sideline apparel, gifts, and all things LSU Tigers, go to lsushop.net. Back with you on this week's show. As we told you earlier, we had a chance recently to sit down with players and coaches from LSU Basketball for a chance for them to reflect on the importance of celebrating Black History Month. Just give me a clap. Why is it important to celebrate Black History Month? Man. Um, wow. 
the question why is it important to me so like oh just go well the longer you know i've been in coaching the more uh, i learn from our players each year the more i, I learn um, about our players each year that's the fun part of coaching is being able to be involved in your players lives and you learn a lot about um, the struggles um, that, that, that some of them have been through and oh it's it's important to celebrate black history month because you know all the people that paved the way for us to be where we are today like Martin Luther King was a part so Jordan Truth um, Harriet Tubman the list can go on and on uh, to me specifically it's important to celebrate black history month because you know my ancestors and all of our ancestors have been through a lot and you know, black people have done a lot for this country, for this world, and having a whole month of us is just a blessing, you know, every single day we, just, we should celebrate. Being around in the 60s and 70s, I was a kid, but I saw some of the things that were happening, especially growing up in Washington, D.C., some of the, you know, street uh, brutality, some of the sit-ins. I mean, obviously I was a kid, and, uh, but I remember it. I remember how tough it was uh, to uh, get ahead as a, as a black person in, 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 the, in the 60s and 70s. And so the word, one of the words that comes to mind for me is sacrifice. I feel like our culture is very like, popular and it's mostly we've influenced the whole America, in my opinion, you know, through the music, fashion, food even. I feel like black culture is just so important to America because it just shows and signifies our culture basically and how we can make little things into big things and that's that's what I think because a lot of people really don't know how deeply rooted black culture is in America. All throughout history black people have been you know the backbone of American America. They've you know been huge in, in, in building America and helping it thrive. I changed from being a, a young assistant or to a middle-aged assistant coach, head coach, who was done with trying to change my life. It became me trying to change the lives of the guys I coached. Um, really, it's, for me, it's about uh, serving our players, serving our guys, and making sure that you know, I have the best understanding possible uh, of our players and what's important to them and you know, what they've been through and how I can help reshape where they're going. It's important to me to celebrate Black History Month is primarily um, for everyone that's been in front of me, um, that's been in this business, everyone that has helped minorities be able to get to the point where they're able to be in the industry like the coaching and sports industry. It's been a circle for me going from a young guy seeing all of the sit-ins at Ben's Chili Bowl, which was around the corner where I grew up, seeing all the uh, parents, my father's friends and family out there being sprayed with water hoses and growing up and seeing that growing up in D.C. to being what America would call very successful. And it just shows you, you know, where, how far we've come. Um, we do have, you know, a lot further to go, but, um, you know, I'm fortunate enough to be at an organization and with a university like LSU, you know, that has, you know, a black president um, that also you know, has a coach like Coach Wade who's super understanding of these, you know, young African Americans and some of the challenges that they still face today. I think that this month is, is special and, and, and crucial in American history and I don't think it just should just be a month to be completely honest. I think that, you know, black history is American history. It's our history. It's my history. It's your history. It's everybody's history. Stay tuned for more Inside LSU Basketball after the break. We're Dudley DeBosier. As an official partner of LSU Athletics, we love being back here on campus. It's where we began our journey as lawyers. And it keeps us connected to the community we pledge to serve. This place has made a difference in so many lives across the state. And it inspires us to do the same. We're a law firm that cares about this community. And that's the Dudley DeBosier difference. Demand Dudley DeBosier, official partner of LSU Athletics. 444-4444. Fake, mi amor. 
Ice cream? Yeah! Okay. Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. You need more layers, diagonal layers. I gotta run, thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you preach you the Bud Light lemonade? Need more ice. And diagonal layers. I mean, if you're gonna do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a plum ski method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? You gotta crush the ice, son. Okay, I'm out. What's his problem? Right. Whenever packing the cooler really, really matters, there's a Bud Light there. As humankind faces its most critical challenges yet, the world demands leaders, and LSU is taking up the charge. The research we do here goes everywhere to protect communities threatened by climate change so you can live your life with fewer worries about tomorrow. We're formulating a better way for everyone because at LSU, our calling is humanity. When you support, she soars. When you donate, he delivers. When you provide, they prevail. Since 1987, TAF members have lifted the minds, bodies, and spirits of LSU student athletes, making sure they have what they need to succeed in competition, the classroom, and in life. When you give, they go. This segment of Inside LSU Basketball brought to you each week by Community Coffee, the official coffee of LSU Athletics. Well, they say time flies when you're having fun, and that's it for our show. I want to remind you, a chance to see the Tigers later this week. LSU men's basketball on the road with that rematch with Kentucky up in Rupp Arena coming up on Wednesday. They'll be back at home to face Missouri for the first time on the year. Women's basketball will also play Thursday night inside the Maravich Center as they'll take on Alabama before heading to Rocky Top Sunday with a matchup with Tennessee in the afternoon. Thanks to our entire crew. Thanks to you for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Same time, same channel inside LSU basketball. For all involved, this is Chris Blair saying so long, everybody, and go Tigers. Inside LSU Basketball, presented by Community Coffee, is brought to you each week by the eight partners that represent Team LSU. Cox, the official communications provider of LSU Athletics. McDonald's, official sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Our Lady of the Lake, official healthcare provider of LSU Athletics. Planet Fitness, official gym partner of the LSU Tigers. Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of LSU Athletics. Hancock Whitney, the official bank of the LSU Tigers. People's Health, the official health plan of LSU Athletics. And by Coca-Cola, official beverage partner of the LSU Tigers. Our, our fans, our state, just have unrivaled passion for LSU. We just respect the past and embrace the future. Thank <laughs> you.